From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top story is fire investigators beginning the first week in May trying to determine what caused the blaze on Jenny Street here in the Capitol over the weekend. It affected several homes in the area. As it stands, we understand that there are 10 structures that were affected. Six of them were destroyed and four was partially destroyed. A 99-year-old female was taken to the hospital as a result of treat for treatment as a result of flame, uh, the smoke in inhalations. She is expected to survive. That's police spokesman Audley Peters, an undetermined number of persons displaced by that fire. Police starting May with another murder investigation, the result of a drive-by shooting incident in the Nassau Street area on Saturday night. Police in the early stages of that investigation, but they've confirmed that one man is dead, another in hospital in critical condition, and a third in stable condition in hospital at last report. No ruling released yet in the Shantytown Court Challenge. It was scheduled to be handed down on Friday last week by Justice Grant Thompson, but that didn't happen due to the unavailability of Queen's Counsel lawyer Fred Smith, who is representing the 177 persons challenging the government's Shantytown policy. Not clear when the ruling will come now. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. More information on COVID-related deaths being released now. Ministry of Health officials confirming 10 additional deaths, all between February 22nd and April 1st. That takes the overall total to 209 now, and there are still some deaths under investigation, and that number could go up. The weekend corona number is still too high for health officials. 64 cases on Thursday, 66 on Friday, down to 30 on Saturday. 160 over that three-day period spread over several islands. 112 of them in the capital. Concern over 15 reported from Andros on Thursday. 52 persons remain in hospital being treated, four in the ICU. NEMA holding its first hurricane preparedness briefing over the weekend, urging residents to begin preparation for the season now. It begins officially on June 1st. House Speaker Moultrie confirming what many suspect. There's a frosty relationship between him and the Prime Minister, who he says at one point didn't speak to him for months. The House is scheduled to meet today after last week's corona-related adjournment made by the Speaker. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Partly sunny today. Highs in the mid-80s. 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisory winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headlines several countries sending help, but it's not immediately affecting the alarming coronavirus spread in India. Almost 400,000 new infections were reported on Monday. That's a record. The 12th day in a row, more than 300,000 new cases were reported. Almost 4,000 persons died there on Monday. The health system is overwhelmed. They're short on oxygen, and they're running out of space to cremate the dead. And to make matters worse, it's fair now that the outbreak in India is now spilling over into neighboring countries, including Nepal, which has been forced to implement lockdowns in several areas, and a growing list of countries now restricting flights from India. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week, no changes. Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. He had to wait a while, but wide receiver Mike Strawn is going to get a chance in the NFL. Drafted by the Colts. Read the details in the Tribune Sports and get the last word on the NFL draft, which was completed over the weekend. Get the latest NBA news, including Buddy Hill's big night last night against Dallas. 27 points and a win, but the Kings likely will be missing the playoffs. DeAndre Aiden of the Suns won again last night. They're already in the playoffs. Read the story of a helping hand for former boxer Ray Minus Jr. and get his reaction. And plenty of international soccer, including a protest in England that's getting some attention. Major League Baseball details in the Tribune Sports Monday also. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.